This is like the, with the, I ask 100 streamers how to be successful. Let's, let's watch. I made a video about how to be a streamer, and it covered a lot of the bases that you will need, and a lot of the stuff here is going to be repetitive information. But I also have something. This was a great video, super insightful. After I watched this chat, I went from 40 viewers to 100. Really? Yeah. That's when oh, I started doing ago? more collabs and more uh, more oh. events and shit because that was one of the things. So oh, you watched this his video? I watched this video, uh, not this one no, specific. No, I one. watched the one other one a few mm. years back, and I applied a few things and definitely doubled the, the, the growth. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I kind of want to know, like, is still the principle the same, mm -hmm. or is there any new information because three years has passed? Yeah. Different this time. This time, it's not just me who's going to be telling you how to be a streamer. I've gone ahead and I've asked a hundred of my friends, a hundred fellow streamers on advice for somebody who's up and coming or trying to be. He's a great streamer. content so creator, Ludwig. You this time, it's not just me. I literally went out and asked 100 streamers for advice and I put it all into a PowerPoint presentation, which I'm calling my ultimate guide to streaming 2024 edition. Let's, Let's go. Class. Mm -hmm. All you will need is a pen and paper and a positive attitude. Step one on becoming a streamer. Stop watching this video if you have not yet gone live. I'm or chat, go live and watch the fucking video. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> That's a... <laughs> That's React to it. You do both things at the same time. Yeah. Uh, it's everything I stream zero to two viewers for four months. I know. I know the feeling, brother. I'm being serious. Go live, you lazy fucker. <laughs> if you have never even attempted to stream before and you are watching this video on how to be a streamer, you're not serious about it. And this is a problem that's not exclusive to streaming. This is a problem that happens in every single hobby you want to pursue. Do you want to be a runner? Oh, I'm going to look up a bunch of videos on how I should run and how I should train running before I do it. Oh, you want to start working out? Oh, well, you know, I'm going to look up a bunch of videos on how to work out before I start working out. Just do the damn thing. True. Just do it. Because that is the hardest step is just doing it. And you'll make a million excuses and you'll put a hundred barriers between you and doing the thing. I don't have the right technology. My equipment's not good enough. I don't have a good camera. This camera sucks. <laughs> I don't have this. Why are you saying this? No, because you're always complaining about yeah. the camera. I mean, I know you're right, but... Uh, but I don't mind streaming on this also. That's why I stream. I don't care. Yeah. This is the, the, the quality of the content is not a one-on-one -on -one ratio to... Uh, the equipment you have yeah yeah definitely makes it better makes it look better doesn't make the content better yeah i, I think in in these days everyone has equipment to start yeah. creating content the, the, there the is phone. this <clears throat> small syndrome uh streamer it's called small streamer syndrome that is like you have the the best mics you have all these fucking studio the the gaming lights the everything you have your uh Twitch logo and then your username in the background in the LED you yeah, have yeah. all these things and then you're streaming for two viewers and you are like why why I cannot grow you know mm -hmm. I have all these things I have all these gear all the, and you know what people who come to these kind of streamers who are beginners and they have all the equipments and shit yeah. and if they have less viewers people start judging like why are people yeah it watching? makes it weird right <laughs> like people they like i yeah they think like why people are not watching it's like you're everything. putting like the, the the money in the wrong basket uh, it's just like just just if you have so much money to spend like on a crazy setup in a crazy room with a crazy webcam just maybe hire a fucking editor to do some yeah, cool shorts it's it's so it's yeah it's better to hire an editor than buying these kind of... Yeah, making like crazy... In, yeah, yeah, yeah. The 100%. Yeah. Enough. I don't have anyone who'd watch me right now. I don't even know what I'd stream. Just fucking do it. If you're not even going to try one single stream, then you are not serious about this. And I'm going to prove to you that you're not serious because <laughs> the biggest streamer in the world right now is a guy named Jinxie. Jinxie. And for a full... Oh, year, there it is. He streamed on Twitch to an average viewership Two. Oh, two. The For one year? One year straight. One year straight for zero to That's two viewers. Insane. And now he is the, the biggest streamer on the platform. Oh, God. That is freaking insane. 639 hours streamed to an average viewership of two. Three and a half hours live. 
with a peak viewership Zero of average one. viewers. That's jinxy, man. So if you're not willing to be jinxy, I don't think you're serious about being a streamer. Be jinxy, go live, come back to this video after you've learned just a little bit. If you've already gone live, congratulations. All right, congrats. You can continue watching this video. Now, the second question you might be asking, Look, wait, wait, why should I listen to you? What the why, hell, why me? bro? There's a lot of information out yeah. there. A lot of people whose entire channels are devoted to. Okay, the, okay. Now I'm just a curiosity. Did in India they drew cocks on the whiteboard? I don't know. Okay. I think I don't know. Here, sometimes they did, and the the professor, the teacher, will got like very mad, and they will punish the whole the whole class. Well, I didn't know the shape. I was very naive. Yeah. Dude. Oh, okay. To how to be a streamer? I'm Why sorry. me? Well, I've had some success along the way. I am the second most subscribed to uh, Twitch streamer ever of all time, behind Kai Sinat. I won streamer of the year, a year or two ago. You know, some successes along the way. This is not me boasting, by the way. I also have the record for the most Twitch subscribers lost by anyone ever, and I still hold that record. But I've had some success streaming. And I care about imparting that, because I know as a fact I will not be a big streamer forever. One day I will completely fall off, or I'll quit entirely because I'm scared of falling off. All right, one of them's gonna come. So I might as well get rid of all the information I have because somebody who's watching this video right now will be replacing me as the biggest streamer in the world one day. Or they'll be a top streamer. I, I, I've, I've seen people who have made it big who mm. I would argue are doing shit that I'm not. I, I agree with, the, with this point that he's saying that uh, this career feels very short. Uh, in yeah, a way, you know? It feels very shaky also. It, is, it feels very shaky, feels very short. And... Unless you have this capability of not only keep improving yourself, but keeping adapting to the mm. changes mm. and to the new trends and to whatever it is, you know, like, because times will pass. And how many channels do you guys know that uh, they are still doing exactly the same thing, but in the exactly same way? Mm. So... For example, MKBHD, right? They, it's a it's a black YouTuber, probably one of my favorites, and uh, it does exactly the same thing, but in a much better quality nowadays, mm -hmm. right? So he just reviews tech, you know, mm -hmm. but he does it in a such a better way every year, year after year. And I think that's where it's great, you know? Yeah, I, I feel it also matters that you improve in a very merged way. Yeah. If you are automatically changing your content, your audience won't get time to grow with you. Yeah, you know? to adapt. And they will be like, okay, what the hell is this? And they, they leave. Yeah. So it's very important. So I feel like it also part of a community is also sharing the bond of understanding when we are growing together in growing together sometimes it's like you know you guys is like oh imagine like in two years yeah. you know and pradeep and saifu come to the chat and say oh i still remember when in and pedicri were streaming on a webcam yeah and hopefully by in two years we we better have a fucking camera hopefully, hopefully okay <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? So there is like this sense of like nostalgia and mm. story and uh, and building up. And th that I feel like that's what is great about it. Yeah. You know, that uh, you see not only the people improving as uh, content creators, mm -hmm. but also the content gets better and everything just gets better. And you feel like you were part of it. You know, like, you know, like you are one of the reasons that... Yeah. You know, things became the way they are. Yeah. Not doing that are very good, who have mentioned me, and I'm very flattered by that fact. So I might as well impart the wisdom while I have it. Extra Emily, I think, is a streamer who I think is fucking killing it right now. Oh, she's oh me I love someone her. Who inspired her. And I'm flattered by that because she's doing shit that I'm not doing. Every damn stream, she's doing something crazy. She makes crack cocaine. I'm so glad. <laughs> That's so true. I'm so glad I'm crack not the cocaine. only one saying this. And I also, in a very selfish way, I'm very humble that I have an eye for these things, man. Because yeah. I told you, Extra Emily is probably one of the best fucking streamers on the platform right now. Yeah. Super original ideas. Like, insane, simple, crazy, interesting ideas. Hmm. And that's, like, for me, it's like, wow. You know? Like, 
it's not like I wish I also had, but it's like I now I'm not in that stage. Now I'm like more. I used to be in that very crappy mental place that, uh, and uh, you know, if you were a content creator or a streamer, like it's really fucked up to watch other streamers growing and then starting to feel like very like yeah uh, i don't have this kind of oh i ideas. wish i had that i wish i have done that oh and then you were like man i'm so, i'm so bad i'm so bad i'm yeah. so bad I'm, you know it's just like a mental fucking place like is the yeah. uh, imposter syndrome i don't know if uh, it's imposter no imposter syndrome is like whenever you get something really good and you always feel like you don't deserve yeah. it yeah no, this is something else. Yeah, this is jealousy, this boys. This is like... Uh, it's fucking jealousy. You know, and it comes from when you're not doing anything and you go check, it makes you feel even worse, you know? Yeah. That thing. But if you're doing and if you go watch, I think then you start appreciating. Yeah, kind yeah. Of thing. I always, always appreciate the genius or the, the intellect or a, a good, good idea, idea of uh, other. Because... because it is some things are very noble and man extra emily holy shit she's killing it and i, I really really appreciate it because also it's getting me inspired not jealous yeah. i'm getting inspired but i'm not being jealous um average verge welcome welcome on the stream buddy on the streets of austin yes oh this was so funny So anyway, let me just give you the wisdom. She was cooking and steak and, and the girl opinion, thought she was cooking we'll crack. <laughs> I also asked 100 streamers how to stream. This is real. I made a Oh, oh wait, 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 wait chat, chat. questions that I would want to know if I just started streaming. Chat, chat. I have, I have to move our camera to the other side because we are cutting literally um video. Yeah. Just one second, chat. Duplicate. <laughs> Imagine doing this live chat. What an amateur streamer. Oh, no. No. Where no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you got caught. How can I move this? Okay, so this is what you know. Uh, uh, we are still a small streamer chat. How do I do this? Why, why can not pick up the camera, bro? Oh, you want uh, us to be in the corner? and? Things. Yeah, I wanted us to be in the corner. Yeah, that was better, right? Okay, chat, I cannot do it. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, let, let's go. Let's keep going. Oh, it happened. No, this is another one. I, I wanted to move the camera to the left side. Oh, and I asked the it doesn't matter. You could, could you please minimize it? And this is true. I did ask 100 streamers. That's going to be the title of this YouTube video. I did ask 100 streamers. Disclaimer, uh, 100 people didn't answer me. Okay? I did ask. I did ask 100 Typical people. streamer chat. That only 30% of them actually answered. Not a horrible percentage, by the way. If you're in the MLB and you're batting 30%, that's not bad. That's pretty That's pretty good, you know? So, a, a lot of dono walls there. A lot of egos hurting along the way. But but I did ask for you guys. I mean, these are the names of the people who... Oh, there's some big streamers there. Just took a quick look there. There are a lot of big fucking streamers here. And let's start with the very basic question. What are the perks of being a streamer? Now, this one might seem simple. You guys could probably list a few off the top. Money! And the biggest one that most people will think of is money. That is the biggest <laughs> perk that most people... What else, chat? What when else? you think of a streamer, you think of money. Yep, everyone's spamming yeah. in the chat right now. That's true. <laughs> I'm going to reveal something here that I think I'm illegally uh, allowed to reveal because I'm no longer a, a Twitch exclusive streamer. I wasn't able to reveal this last time. Here's how much money I made my last year on Twitch. Again, this is not a flex. I'm just trying to show you. This is, this is why people like to start streaming. Uh, okay. He's going to show how much money he made on his last year of streaming mm -hmm. he remember he was his subathon remember yeah, the 30 days yeah subathon where he got to be the most subscribed streamer of all time yeah back then how how much money do you think he made i mean i i don't understand dollars and shit no no just okay t tell in rupees and i'll make the translation a lot of money <laughs> hmm. No, oh, I really don't. good uh, answer. <laughs> hmm. Let me see. A lot of money. Just say, like a guess. Like some hundred crores or something. Okay, chat. She lost me. What is the one hundred crore? Chat. I don't know. Is like ten million. Ten million. It's more than ten million, I think. Ten, ten million, yeah. No, no, ten million is a lot. I will say like one point. Okay, 1. I don't 8, understand this. One point eight million. It's like one point 
1.8 karo. Because uh, they think of the money aspect. <laughs> I just there said it. That was my last year on Twitch. 2020. Holy. 2.5 million dollars. That's crazy. That's... But uh, again, chat, this is okay, like... Okay, let me do see. Like 2 point... Oh, okay, okay. That's okay. insane. 21, I made 2.5 million dollars. Now, bear in mind, that money does include the subathon. So, kind of does inflate it a little bit. Yeah. That's a big chunk of it. That's a big chunk of it. I would argue like half of it. But it's a lot of money. People, you know, they like the idea of streaming because the amount but of money you can make. You also have a pretty... But, but this makes it like, look... It's the same as when you're watching YouTube and you see like, oh, I made uh, one million dollars in one year on YouTube, you know, uh, six figures in six months, you know, like it mm -hmm. feels like the, all these get rich quick schemes. Yeah. But this is his last year on Twitch and he's not counting the previous years, plus all the effort he made on uploading on YouTube yeah. for every day for like three years. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So, he adds up. He adds up with time. So, we are, as a human being, we're always looking at the end result. Yeah. Not, and the, not the journey. Exactly. But mm. we look at the end result and we judge our current selves that we are still starting. Mm. And it's like, oh, why Why am I not getting these many viewers? Why am I not getting any money? Why am I yeah. like, you know, so, no, because you're not because you're starting. Mm. We are still starting, but still the pressure whenever you're consuming all this content about streaming and content, it makes you feel so small that why the fuck I'm not making 5,000 euros a month when, you know, these guys with the fla faceless YouTube channels are here spamming on YouTube or Twitter or whatever that they make so much fucking and a lot of it also is not true, okay? Yeah. A lot of it is fake. But it makes you feel like very, very small and is encouraged mm. whenever you're starting out. Yo, Mango, what's up, man? Cool job. You get to game for a living. I mean, that is the core. Game for a living. Is, it is gaming. Literally, for my job, last week, I got to play stick RPG and gamble in a fake cartoon universe where I was trying to sell... Just a, just a quick note. Do you want to do ever... Uh, a gaming stream for fun maybe but not I we will do it for fun uh, yeah right? that that could be fun chat yeah. you guys want to see me and pretty game one day or most likely are more yeah. interesting i seeing never you played play. a game in my whole life you never played the game in your own life not like your kind of games yeah you only play like, play like those pussy, fashion pussy mobile games. games pussy games hey i also like to play those pussy games cocaine to girl scouts who robbed me that's what I did for my job. That's what I did. It was pretty fucking cool. I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of fun doing it. That's what I got to do. You also get to be like a D-list, F-list celebrity. <laughs> you're not famous. <laughs> Don't fucking delude yourself. D-list streamer. D-list celebrity. to a GameStop and you're a big streamer, holy shit, they're going to recognize you. Macy's, Banana Republic, not so much. But Best Buy, you know, I feel those like are our places. That's where the people know us. The first and time you, you meet a fan in a... In a public space, the first one or the first few ones will be mm. incredible. Yeah. Then if you become like too popular and you cannot leave your house, it's going to become awkward. Yeah. Well, people. <laughs> a lot of the people that I... But like it is a good watch, problem to have. I got mm -hmm. to meet. I got to hang out with. And now I also get to work with. This, this guy is Jerma. Cool and everybody knows. And Jerma used to be the idol of Ludwig. Shit that comes with streaming. Mm. People don't think about some of the negatives. So I'm going to bring up a couple here. One, the negative chat. Being a micro celebrity isn't always great. Because sometimes you have haters. And I brought an example of a hater here for you today. My biggest hater that I've had for about three years now. A guy who will DM me almost every week some mean shit. March 7, 2022. Ain't no way your ass drive a Vespa. I got COVID a few days ago. It's because of your stupid Vespa. Stop driving the Vespa. Still at it. Just got oh, Dolly. Vespa. LMFA. He has a Vespa. Okay, this picture does make me laugh. It does make me laugh. But still, what is that about? What is that? I'm just my This is like the good kind of hater, though. Yeah. Holy the funny shit, one. You did it. I'm so proud. Sometimes it does come full circle. Doesn't mean the hating stops. God, I, f I hope I find your name on Epstein's Island. Okay. You, get you know what it, no. Epstein's Island? No. Okay. Uh, well, gladly you don't know. It, it's a very. Is it was an island where they used to fly models from Vitor. You saw. You saw the the documentary. I saw the documentary. But could you please remind? I don't know. Uh, they remember. used to fly. I think that this is the one chat, right? The they they used to fly 
the Victoria's Secret models or people that wa wanted to become a, a Victoria's Secret model. Mm. So this island, pretty much to do, you know, sexual things, you know? Oh, really? Oh, yes. It was a big thing. Or it is the case of the, the, the pedophilia. Is this one of them? The pedophilia. Oh, they were like literal. Oh, children? okay, okay. So these are different. Do you, okay, Saif is saying it's oh, the, the the pedophilia one. There are two. Okay, what is the Victoria's Secret ones? The, there is also one that used to fly girls to to an island. Uh, but yeah, this guy was uh, was crazy. Was oh. was a very big case in the in the states. The idea. Obviously, this is more of a funny hater, but there are very real haters. There are very real consequences to even being a micro celebrity, and there are a lot of people whose lives are worse because of the attention they get, and they don't really like it. Okay, that's so that's one thing. Another thing, big streamers tend to work a lot, right? These are my 30 surveyed streamers. I asked them how often they work in a week, and the blue is 0 to 20 hours. You might notice there is no blue. In fact, an equal amount of people work 20 to 39 hours. Holy a week, shit. As do 80 plus. <laughs> Where, where, where is our cheese? Wait, how many hours do you work a week? What is our color right now? <laughs> <laughs> what is your color, Pedigree? <laughs> <laughs> where, 0 to 19? 0 to 19? No, it's not. Okay. It, it, it can't be. I'll tell you why. We stream at least two hours, sometimes three hours a day. Yeah. So, multiply that by seven. That's already 14 to... 20 oh, hours. Oh, it's a week. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, a week. Okay. Plus, we do a lot of editing. So, I think we are in the in the red right now. Uh, 20 to 39. But also, Chad, on our defense, we were dealing, as we know, with yeah. the, the situation of my grandma. Um, sadly, you know, <laughs> more unfortunately, now we're going to have some free time, unfortunately, yeah. now. Um, but we still were working. You know, and we're making yeah. progress, but just as you see, we didn't get time to edit and post videos uh, here and there. But yeah, the the key th factor is that whenever I used to be like a bigger streamer than I am right now, uh, I used to work probably on the eighty hours plus. Mm -hmm. Remember, mm -hmm. I used to stream used for to work a lot. You used to sleep for like four or five hours. Yeah, four or five hours I used to sleep and the rest of the day, except the times I was speaking with you, yeah. I was working. Mm -hmm. Or I was editing or I was streaming or I was hanging out on the Discord, you know, community nights, mm -hmm. all these things. But all the time, man, it was like yeah. a nonstop. It was no. like there was no time in your brain to think about anything else. No. Because you were always working. Editing. It was you and the stream, nothing else. Yeah. Nothing else. Yeah hours and i don't think they're <clears throat> bullshitting when they're putting these replies in because you can literally track the hours of some of these streamers there are people who are average live 10 hours a day for the entire year 365 days a year. yeah that's crazy it's easy enough to go work lamel this isn't even a real job whatever that's fine the reality is though if you were to do that it would drain you and you would basically <laughs> lose 100%. everything else in your life along the way and i have <laughs> seen streamers do this they lose everything else on the way because all they do is stream it is their life they're not gaining new life experiences they're just sharing all their life experiences online yeah as opposed to a job where you are told how often you are supposed to come in by somebody you make your own hours and the more hours you work the more money you make but you only make money while you're live so might as well be live as often as that, this is the wheelchair, uh, mm. the not the wheelchair. Oh my god, uh, the 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 rat race. Yeah, you know, yeah. because the more you work, the more content you make, the more stream uh, time you put. The, like the more you do, mm. the more chances you get, the more money you make. It becomes like a, a rat race. Like it's like oh, it's literally like this. Yeah, you know, like those horses. They have yeah. a, the carrots, like chasing the carrot, and they can never get it yeah that's just how it is it's and, a never-ending game and it's just not the treadmill the, exactly the treadmill. and it's just not for the smallest streamer even if you get big you have or the whole audience it mm. keeps going like that it keeps it keeps you know, you yeah. know when you get a small audience or a bigger audience uh, then there is this thing that happened to me whenever i stopped streaming chat to go to india i felt like this insane guilt yeah. That I was letting down my my community. That I was uh, be not betraying, but I I felt like so deeply, you know, bad for it. Mm. And um, and sometimes I 
I still do, but now I don't more because now I'm kind of happy about what we're doing now. Uh, Nebraska is saying the treadmill effect, the whole reason World of Warcraft had to change how raids work. Oh, well, that is true. I didn't know you would you knew about World of Warcraft, Nebraska, so well. That's good. What a As great net game. Still, Best game. Those negatives. Back in the day, chat. Back in the day, not like now. All things considered, this is still <clears throat> better than working at a call center, Ludwig. It's really not that bad. So why doesn't everybody stream? You make a lot of money, play video game, hang out <laughs> with German 985? But yes, yes, me, sign me up, man, sign me up. Well, let's do a little experiment. I want you to think of a streamer. In fact, type one in chat. Think of a streamer. It can be anyone in the world. Think of a streamer. There's a bunch of huge... Okay, streamer. Kaisenet. Uh, what else? Extra Emily. Extra... Okay, okay. I would say Ninja. Yeah. What uh, What about you? I would say Asmongold. Asmongold. I will say Jinxie. <clears throat> okay. What is your third one? My third one. I would say Ludwig. In the STB. Okay. In the STB. <laughs> Streamers that you guys are, are are listening right now. Maybe you thought of one of these names. Sorry, Ninja, for using this picture. Oh. The lines. These are the streamers. I didn't think about. I got two, but I think. Well, she, I don't remember her name. Uh, she's Valkyrie. Oh yeah. She used to be a very, very big. I don't know now. The she's the owner of uh, One Hundred Thieves. Made it to such a high degree that they are the top of the top of the top one 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 percent, and you're not really envisioning what your life will be like if you try streaming. So I'm going to show you someone. I'm gonna... This is kind of cool. What he said. I, yeah. It was the same thing as we were speaking. Every time you think about the streamer, you always think about these people and you envision the 0 0.011%. Yeah. You know, like the, the top, the tippy tip top of the chain. But you don't imagine how your life will be as a streamer because probably you, we will not get there, right? Mm. The, the top end. But look at this. I'm going to show you this guy right here. Does anyone recognize this streamer? I don't see a single person in chat who's instantly recognizing the streamer. I did some research yesterday. I wanted to look up Mr. 10,000th 10, biggest streamer in the world. So that's what I did. And right now you're looking at Mr. 10,000. Omni Kevka. If you go to Twitch Tracker and you go to the very last page possible, technically it's number 9,995, but I rounded up. You will find Mr. 10,000, a guy who averages... Holy shit, 10,000... The ten number ten thousand guy averaged two hundred and sixty eight average viewers. Damn, that's not a lot, but that's a lot compared to us still. Yeah, man. Um, let me see this. Uh, Pradeep is saying, uh, but I know uh, a few creators on YouTube who make ten to or uh, twelve oh, videos yeah. in a year, but those twelve vi videos are so good they make good money out of it. Not uh, maybe not two point five million dollars. Yeah, if I think about like they, but they come up with really good personality and all that stuff. Yeah. Like Emma <laughs> Chambul and she post one video. No, once. but but again, but she used to post no, no, a lot yeah, before. exactly. No, she's not a good example, I I feel, uh, because she's just milking all the hard work she did yeah, in the past. Yeah. But for example, Mr. Beast is a perfect example of that, right? He only uh, maybe not ten. He probably does more. I don't think he, he's a perfect example. He does no. like twenty videos nowadays. More than more, he's like making bigger, bigger, better quality videos. Mm. But in a now, I think he's uploading more. I I don't know, but. I know what he's saying. There are some cases like they make more quality videos, but it is as you're starting out on YouTube, chat. It is very tough to put like one month away to create a piece of content that yeah can go well, but mm -hmm. it can you could just waste one month of your life, you know, yeah. and uh, the video just doesn't take off. So mm -hmm. I feel like it is a balance when you're starting about quality and, con and quantity and just keep posting. Yeah. And then one day, once you learn the skills, then you may do the shift to, okay, now we're going to do more quality because yeah. now we know the game. Now we understand our style because mm -hmm. how can you develop like your personal style if you don't even have a personal, you don't even know what you're creating, you yeah. know, you're just, you're just starting out. So, 
Uh, Nebraska was saying uh, not, you were yeah. not uh, super full of enjoy that you went after Pericri. Oh, this was when I was saying that oh, uh, yeah. I know I I left streaming, um, and the you two are together. I I feel like very blessed for that. Uh, Saif was saying I haven't streamed in two days due to family issues, and I feel like everyone will forget that I exist. <laughs> Holy that shit, is so bro! True. That it is happens. so true. Now that uh, you know, like uh, we were away for three days. Uh, with all these, you know, my grandma passing away. And unfortunately, I, I thought about it, you know, like, mm. oh, we were uh, like on this streak and now, you know, I wanted to go live, but, you know, yeah. I, I had to be there for the family. I yeah. had to take care of everything. I had to be in the funeral. I had to do these things. And so I was like, in some days you have to take a break sometimes, you know, like mm. it, it is very exhausting sometimes to just keep going all yeah. the way, all the way. But that's just how it feels. On streaming is definitely like that. Especially when you're starting out, it feels like if you're not live, you were dead. Yeah. You know? And if, if you're not, not live, live every day, day you're, you're not, not going to grow. grow. It, it is just like, like a, such a weird dynamic. So, so if you go live, live and you don't enjoy it, please don't become a streamer. Because unless you enjoy the, the shit out of this... Yeah, that's why that's how you would keep doing this yeah um pretty is saying the best examples uh, uh let me see oh mr beast is a youtube philanthropist uh pretty is saying the best examples uh will be a channel called over simplified they make animation videos based on history mm. uh present plays and his crew were part of the team envy and uh came from as well uh, resource backgrounds it's a full family entertainment industry I think I know present place. I think like, I know that name. Uh, and Saif is saying, yeah, man, sometimes it seems more overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah, just uh, how it is. Sometimes, you know, life kicks you in the nuts and you just got to deal with it. <laughs> let's see. Let's see here the, the Mr. Uh, 10,000. Yeah. 268 viewers who streams really intense gaming sessions that can last 24 hours of playing games like Ark in more recently Power World. And, and let's just Sessions of 24 sessions. hours Mr. in a row. Averages 262 viewers, streams an average of seven and a half hours oh every my single God. day for the course of 2023, and has 388 points on Twitch. Here's Bro, he has 300, he has almost 300 subs. He does a living. Hey, he's a full-time streamer, 100% with his numbers, he do, he's well off. He does a living out of his, he doesn't, does, he doesn't do a luxury living by any means. He probably pays the bills, he pays the rent, and that's pretty much it. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, he, yeah. got, he made it. But doing several 24-hour streams gaming, that's fucking wild. Every single day for the course of 2023, it has 388 sub points on Twitch. Here's him explaining what he does in his own words. I've got my own style. You know what I mean? I'm a fat dude with long hair. Gotten fatter as I streamed. Um <laughs> Got fatter as I streamed. Bro, <laughs> this is so true. It's facts. <laughs> and I I got fat uh, while I was streaming. Because you're putting like so many hours. While well, sitting. Yeah. Well, you're sitting, then you were editing, then you're organizing, then you... you uh, Unless you're doing yoga streams. Yeah, unless you're doing some yoga streams and some fitness streams, you're probably gonna get you're gonna get some extra weight. That's for sure. Yeah. Um, but I'm grinding. I'm grinding. The way that I I stream is by gaming hard. Multiple 24-hour streams. Damn. In the last couple of days, casually, all the time. One, I I'm a video gamer that streams. There's a lot of streamers that play video games. You know what I mean? But I wanted my story to be. I play hardcore. Now this dude's fucking dope, and I got to hang out in his stream it's for kinda a couple cool, hours yesterday. Cool dude, he's a great community, yeah. and and yes, he does game hardcore, and he's been gaming hardcore for a long time. This guy's been streaming longer than Twitch Tracker track stats. Oh longer shit, longer than I have what? been streaming myself, and is what you should be. Bro, this is like 2015 or something or 16, oh. probably most likely. Uh, That's insane. That's insane. thinking of. When you think of being a streamer, because Omni Kevka is a very successful streamer. Look He's at this. In the top 0.08% of streamers in the world. In last month, 7.3 million people oh, chat. went live. He was more successful. We had one, one in 7.3 million chats. 
That's insane. I think it's all 2010. That's insane. It's like uh, being born as a human being. Million people. So don't no, no, no. That's yourself. like one in a trillion. And thinking, okay. streaming Sorry. is being Kai. Streaming is being. It's like winning the lottery, streaming most likely. Streaming is being ninja. Streaming is being Omni Kevka. And it is possible kind of to be scared. the biggest. But for the most part, people like. The, the, okay. You should be scared, but anything you. I, I always told you this. To have the freedom to do whatever you want, it comes with a high cost. Yeah. A lot of sacrifice and a lot of time doing it for no money. Yeah. And you have to be okay. That's the trade-off. Yeah. Is doing something you love for a long time without earning a lot for the chance. A chance is not a guarantee that you're going to earn something. Mm. Same as starting a company. Same as starting anything. The safe option is just go work for someone else. Yeah. You know, get a yeah. job. Yeah. You know. But if you want to have the flexibility, the flexibility, flexibility. or the having the control of your life for the good and the bad, that's a lot that comes with it. Yeah. Omni Kevka are what makes up the streaming world. And they don't get the same attention and critical acclaim that the big people who get the millions of dollars do. <laughs> because all the eyes go to those people. But the reality yeah. is if you were to start streaming, your life would be a lot more similar to a streamer like Omni Kevka, who's grinding. And in his own words, said he was in the minds of Twitch. And he still gets to play video games for a living. And it still gets to pay his bills. And he still gets to hang out with cool people in his chat. But don't delude yourself. Don't think that starting the, the, the go live button means you will end up being Valkyrie. Means you will end up being Kai. Because that's not what streaming is. It is a grind. Okay? It is a grind. Now, before we start the actual session on how to be a streamer, we're going to do a task. And I did this last time. We're going to do it again because I'm, I'm, you know, I, this is one of the few kind of hippie things that I believe in, which is manifesting your goals. And the way to do that is by writing them down. And I want this on pen and paper. Okay? I want this on pen and paper. I did this when I first started streaming over six years ago. I'm going to have you guys do this today. All right? And, and in fact, I write all of my goals on something I can easily access on my desk. And it's on this this little picture of me. On the back of it, I have all my goals. Oh. I can write three things on this piece of paper. Section one, I want you to write your goals with streaming. Now the goal can be different. It can be broad, it can be bold, it can be simple, but it should be honest. If you're gonna say that your goal is to have an altruistic community that you are that you just like making laugh, is that real? Be genuine with yourself. Nobody's in the room with you. Do you actually just want to be fucking rich in a big streamer and famous? <laughs> That's fine. Let's, let's just be honest with ourselves. Oh, that was so funny, man. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be honest, man. Whatever, whatever the fuck you want, man. Uh, I I feel like for me personally, I would love to. I would love to have a dope ass community, but I also love to fucking pay the bills and have fun with the boys. That's that yeah. was always the goal, and I wanted above all to do cool shit. Mm -hmm. That that was all. I used to do uh, a lot of event chat. Uh, epic events I will say and that I loved it it was the greatest feeling to do that for the community and everyone will enjoy and even today those people come here in the chat and they talk about those times so very if I get you know uh, some money I'll definitely always did what I always did when it comes to streaming put it back into creating cool shit Cool events, upgrade my stuff to do better things, and create good memories. Mm. All I want is to create good memories, good experience, because at the end of the day, that's what I value the most. Yeah. You know? What about you? All you want is a fucking big closet full of clothes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm beginning. No, I'm sure. That's no, one of them. I'm maturing now. I yeah, don't... But... I want to live, like, more sustainable life. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, I kind of want to do like I have these goals of doing something, adding something to the community. Mm -hmm. where, uh, talk talk about the 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 money part. No, no, no. Talk about that that mission that you always wanted that you've been speaking to me, but you always very shy about. Yeah, but just so put it out in the world. They, because that's how energy works, you know. Put it out in the world for everyone to hear. What do you really wanted to do? So uh, there is this thing. Uh, uh, 
at my grandparents vill- uh, village there is this family okay mm-hmm. and uh, they uh, they have this son and uh, they found girl for that son mm-hmm. who who was like hardly 13 year old mm-hmm. and uh, she became the uh, the daughter in law mm-hmm. and I, i every time i go there and i look at her and i meet her it just pains my heart to see her okay the, uh, the way she is mm-hmm. you know and that made me think like she is like very young like still very young like 15 14 dealing with all that the uh, homely domestic stuff mm-hmm. and then she has no freedom she has no phone and uh, no one gives her money it's just a very shitty situation mm-hmm. and there are many women i know personally that are going through like this shit mm-hmm. and i kind of wanted to help that them mm-hmm. in a way where i i don't believe a lot in helping people with money mm-hmm. I wanted to do something to you know kind of giving them some skills so they can be more independent you mm-hmm. know and uh, because education is also sometimes it's very tricky you know sometimes there are a lot of women they are not able to go to schools and do certain stuff but if you teach them a certain skill like maybe stitching or something else you know yeah something very something simple is, or uh, it can yeah. be complex also but something that will make them earn some money yeah. so they can regain some level of independence yeah you know? yeah so they can take control of their lives so i feel that i kind of feel that because i know a lot of these women when i have like very different realities here it's a very different reality mm-hmm. for me and when i go back to my roots it's a very different reality yeah. so yeah i kind of want to do something like that yeah i i feel like it'll be a very noble thing if you could if help, I, yeah you know women in the third world country especially these women that yeah. they are still in these very rural places probably they don't have a lot of options you know yeah. and uh, most of the decisions are made by others yeah. you know so like, uh, impacting these people could be even if it's just one yeah. you know to start i think will be insanely noble yeah. you know and sometimes uh, sometimes it's so strange sometimes i see women clicking their pictures and taking selfies and all that mm-hmm. he, he anywhere and then i remember that woman she doesn't have even a phone to call yeah so it, it is such a big hit for me you know sometimes You, you should always think about that woman the same I'm thinking and I always think about that trash guy that we saw. Yeah. And whenever you see yourself complaining about a selfie yeah. or oh I'm not looking at the good on this selfie or on this camera or yeah. whatever. When it's like it's very important like when we get caught ourselves in these loopholes mm. to think about on people that give us perspective. Yeah. And that's a man What am I saying? I got high speed internet. I'm in a fucking, you know, warm room. You know, I got my clothes. I yeah. got, you know, what am I complaining about? You know, mm. so sometimes, you know, getting that perspective and put us like, man, I wish that one day I get to a spot that mm. I can help that person that I seen. Yeah. You know, I wish that, you know what, a uh, one day I would, I would love to have some money to to give to some people I don't believe in giving free uh, money I know? I don't think uh, okay I also understand it that it's not a good thing to do I feel I I don't know I feel like so they, they yeah. are both ways you know they are definitely um like uh Saifu was saying give a man a uh, fish and you feed him for a day teach a man how to fish and uh you, you feed, feed him, him for, for a, a lifetime, lifetime. Yeah. I, i understand this you know yeah. like but sometimes you see these cases of you know for example there, there is a guy here in portugal that i you saw the other day on the show so he, he goes mm-hmm. yeah and uh it just changes people's life you know mm-hmm. so he got a guy uh pick up this homeless person and he asked him what do you want And yeah. the guy, a homeless guy, and uh, he was really just, you know, without teeth, uh, probably a drunk guy living on the streets. And all he asked was money mm. for his dog, for the food of the dog. Yeah, yeah. And because of that, he got so emotional about it that one year later, whenever he became bigger yeah. as a content creator, he went there and he said, yo, what do you want? And mm. he said, 
I don't want anything. I mm -hmm. just want food for the dog. And then he's like, no, I want you, what you really want. Mm -hmm. And then he said something like, I will want, my, my, I have my, teeth my, my feet, my teeth are fucking me up. I cannot uh, sleep recently. Yeah. So I said, okay, let's fix your teeth and then let's get you a job. And nowadays, he got a job, he got a house. So sometimes having some money. Yeah. Also, I think he got like some sponsor. He figured out like a way to to get like some sponsor deals because he has a big channel and all mm -hmm. these things. And he managed to change one person's life entirely. Yeah. And sometimes you cannot change the whole world, but you can change someone else's some, life. Yeah. So also starting small and then grow bigger is also yeah. very important that's the blog andrew yeah it's, been not it's fine let's see it's fine okay fuck it today okay so let's write our goals down and i'm gonna say one more thing goals can be bad right i think goals are valuable because they hold you accountable but just because you achieve your goal does not mean you're done and just because you don't hit your goal doesn't mean you failed it's just something to hold you accountable along the way and it can be as simple as my goal is to go live three, four times a week, whatever it is. So write your goal down, whatever it is. Second thing I want you to write, I want you to write some inspiration. I think this is really valuable to do because when you first start out, you're forming some sort of identity. And anytime you watch a streamer in their early career, even very successful streamers like Liam, for example, the speedrunner, you can tell they've pulled some inspiration from other people. You know, Liam everyone had some gets inspiration from Stevens. everyone. So I want you to list three streamers that you like in how you would like to stream like. Right. So don't just list three streamers that you like that do something you would never do. For example, like don't list, you know, Tarek Kaede tens and then you're like, oh, I don't play Valorant. Yeah. There's three streamers that you like that do something you would like to do. And then the final thing I would like you to list is why. Why do you want to do this? And this is the part where I want you to be honest. This is the part where I want you to actually answer the question very, very like vulnerably. Why do you want to have uh, 300 concurrent viewers? Why do you want streaming to be a do cool shit. Why do you want streaming to be full-time job? <laughs> why do you want to be the biggest in the world? I don't care how altruistic it is. I don't care how selfish it is. I just care that you know it and that you are honest to yourself. And I think that is valuable. Now, you might have thought if I, if I saw you not write this down, I'd tell you to quit. All right. This is what I did in the last video. Last time I did this. All right. I had, I had this entire spiel. And then I said, if you didn't write it down, Shit. Then you should. I write it down and we're going to do it after the stream. Okay. Quit. We should actually. Okay. Also, this requires some deep thought. Yeah. You know? It's it's not like you can you can you come up with like in few seconds. You know, like yeah. if we were off stream chat, I would probably stop it and then I would think about it, yeah. right? But now it's you need a few hours. Yeah. I feel like yeah. uh, unless you, you have a, a, like a very clear vision about mm -hmm. what you want to do. And also, Virginia was saying, uh, I still love when you you carved the the pumpkin in 2019. Yeah, and you were you were still uh, getting stuck every time you wanted to say carve, you were saying crave. Yeah, I'm craving these pumpkin chats. <laughs> yeah. I always was keep spamming craving, craving, yeah. craving, and then until I think it was uh, someone in the chat said, "Listen, it's not craving, it's carving." Yeah. And I was like, since then, I learned, I learned yeah. chat, I learned the lesson. Is if you are writing this down and you have not yet gone live, go live, you lazy fucker. <laughs> okay? Stop doing all the auxiliary work without actually doing the thing that you were trying to do. Just go live. You're the only one who can motivate yourself to do the things that you want to do in life. If you're trying to be a streamer, you just got to go live. You can do all the other shit, like looking up what gear you want to get and, and, and writing down all your goals after. Just go live one time for me. Thank just God we're watching it live. Time. Yeah. Okay? And if you've done it, please. Please go back to writing down your goals, inspirations, and your whys. But make sure, make sure you've gone live at least once. Just fucking try it, man. Even an hour. I don't care. Just try it. Here are mine. This is actually just... You're going to try and you're going to see, man. This fucking sucks. Yeah, it's tough. <laughs> it is tough, boys. It is tough. It's not easy. It is not easy at all. It, it looks very easy whenever you're especially seeing people that already have built audience... But mm -hmm. starting from zero, it is so painful. So, yeah. so painful. It's a picture directly from my, my Be ambitious, list. be creative, be kind, goals. be patient. My goals have changed. My goals are much more broad. I don't have goals based off objective metrics anymore. I don't care about my subscriber uh, number as much. I don't care about my viewership as much. I just care about being better about what I'm doing. And so they're honestly more like reminders. Be ambitious, be creative, be kind, be patient. 
Because I think if I am those things and I remind myself to be those things, then I will That's be good. better at mm. everything else in my life. So goal doesn't have to be get 100 viewers or whatever the fuck. It can be this. It's just a little bit harder to hold yourself accountable when your goal is be ambitious versus an objective number you can look at. Inspiration. Commit zero. Because I think in esports, he is doing stuff that I would like to be doing with Moisex Shopify. Jinxie. Because with very limited tools, Rainbow Six, he has amassed the largest average concurrent viewer base on Twitch, which I find massively impressive. And then German 985. It is, Jinxie is super incredible. He streams on a wooden chair, mm -hmm. and he has like a, a green screen in the back, mm -hmm. and he has his Xbox, and I think that's it, or maybe a computer or something. Mm hmm. And that's it. Does he have like fancy camera and all? No. It's a webcam. Like oh. maybe a better webcam than this, but mm. it's not much better. Mm. It's not much better. Oh, that's... that's uh, okay. He is super, super entertaining. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's where, you know, you don't blame the gear, blame yourself. Yeah. You know? Gear can definitely uh, enable a few cool shots, but it's not that that shot that will make you more famous or a better creator or whatever. Mm -hmm. It is your skill, and uh, it is definitely is fucking entertaining. Like I, I watch a few of these streams, and I laughed. I laughed. Five. Because and I'm not even his audience. His ambition to do whatever idea he thinks of and then make it come to life, I still find inspirational. And then why? Why do I stream? Why do I do what I do? Simply put, that's also changed a lot. For a while, it was because I wanted to be a big streamer. Then, it was because I had daily YouTube uploads and I wanted to keep uploading daily. And to keep uploading daily, I had to keep going live. After that, it was to be the biggest. I wanted to be the biggest streamer in the world. And then after I did that, I realized, well, actually what I really care about and gives me the most value is making the lives of those around me better and also making cool shit. So those are the two things that I- Hey boys, making cool shit. Yeah, you said that. Hey, do you think I have the mindset to become a big streamer? Oh, you you definitely have. I think so. We're gonna make cool shit, chat. That's all it is, man. Yeah. Enjoy making cool shit for the people around you and, and you know, and I just hope I get to a stage where I can back and I'm starting to feel more and more like myself mm -hmm. uh, because like this last year and a half, two years were like, I got myself in a very shitty spot mm -hmm. mentally, but I can't wait to get to the point. I think my golden days, the golden, the golden days mm -hmm. was my first six months of streaming that probably Virginia remembers. Yeah. Though... I was so creative, but then I keep getting creative, more, more, more ambitious, more creative. Even like the Roblox days, I think it was the peak. Yeah. But I feel like the originality that I had in the beginning to start, that's what then in the Started future. Fading. Yeah. Yeah. That I care about making people's lives around me better, friends, family, whatever, making cool shit. So those are my two whys. Where should you stream? Answer. Twitch. <laughs> now, this might sound a little bit uh, ironic, seeing as we are live streaming this on YouTube right now. <laughs> but Twitch is simply the best uh, platform to stream on. It just is. Uh, and then a couple more questions that go along with this. To be successful as a streamer, you need to be consistent. This is just simple advice, okay? Another tip that's helped me along the way, you should be as entertaining for 10 viewers as you would for 10,000 viewers. If you yeah. were to have 10,000 people raid onto your stream, would you stream differently than with a group of people that are currently watching you? If the answer is yes, that means you are not giving your all. You are waiting for something to give your all. You should. Be oh, this is kind of good perspective. Yeah, I think we were talking about this. Like, uh, we should be prepared to... To grow. To grow. Yeah. You know, like, uh, for example, if you get like 1000 people at the same time. Mm hmm. You'll have to be at the stage that you continue and it doesn't bother your flow, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Th th definitely a lot of things change. Yeah. Uh, the dynamic change. But I feel like, uh, like, for example, the chat just goes wild, right? Like, it's yeah. like, what the, what the hell is happening? But I feel like here is more like the answers of the content that you're doing. Mm -hmm. Like, if you got like 10,000 people now here, would you really change what you're doing? Yeah. And uh, if, yes... Then you, make yeah. the proper changes so you are as entertaining and as as you would for these thousand people. So this kind of really cool perspective that is bringing. Mm. Um, so for me, I feel like 
we need to get better as a, a skill, as a commentary, as a yeah. getting more entertaining uh, entertainment and all these things. But also, we are uh, still learning. And I feel like mm. it is a pro uh, process. And also, you have to be humble. Like, we are not still ready and our content is still not ready to assemble 10,000 people, yeah, in yeah. my opinion, right now. I agree. But we always have to be with this mindset that we keep improving if we ever want to get to a place where we have 1000 viewers Mm -hmm. 10,000 viewers or whatever it is we have to make the changes now not then yeah you know yeah giving your all for 10 as you would for 10,000 because then that 10 is how you grow to 10,000 and the ideal length for a stream is just under six hours anywhere under six hours where am i getting this information from well i asked the biggest streamers in the world what the best streaming platform is 28 out of 30 said twitch one mm. person said YouTube, one person said multi-streaming. I am not sold on multi-streaming. I think multi-streaming fractures communities. There are times where it makes sense. For example, Doug Doug when he does his YouTube versus Twitch or an event to get the maximum amount of viewers. It works for some people like Charlie because he has a huge YouTube presence. I think it's better to not multi-stream. This is where I'm currently at. You could multi-stream till you find the platform that you like and then go from there. But I think sticking to one is generally better. Nobody said kick. Now that could be just <laughs> a group I asked. Kick could work for you if you like the 95-5 split, but but of the group I asked, everybody said Twitch. And, yeah. a, and a quick tidbit about Twitch versus YouTube versus Kick versus whatever. Twitch is better for chatters and for streamers. Yeah, Everything for everyone. There's way more streamlined. There's way more information. YouTube streaming sucks. But it gives you good eyeballs. Mm. You know, I, I think that my my perspective is uh we are running this test chat we are streaming on twitch and we're streaming yeah. also on youtube and we're just running this test mm. like is it worth it to keep streaming on youtube uh we'll see we'll have yeah. to see because like uh, also for small streamers on twitch is super hard man it's it super is. hard to grow so you know like maybe for a big big streamer this can be more beneficial i don't know I don't know. Like, it's just running the test for me. I feel like there's more upside of multi-streaming uh, for us because we are uh, still at the stage that w- get getting one viewer more, it is game-changing for yeah, us. Yeah, it is a win. You know? Uh, what do you mean uh, if uh gives you uh, eyeballs? Because I have been thinking about streaming on YouTube and Twitch at the same time. I mean, sometimes sm- uh, there are a few people that come from uh, the YouTube streaming. Now, if you go on uh, on our YouTube channel, y- you will see that we are also uh, streaming there, right? So we are still... And then I have a chat that I assemble both chats and I can be with the, both of the communities, right? Yeah, sometimes people come there and uh, speak. Th- there is a, a fun factor when it comes to YouTube chat that a uh, few people watch us on youtube and a few people watch us on twitch Mm. and also one of the best perks when it comes to twitch is that um uh, to to, with youtube YouTube is a few friends of mine Mm. they don't watch us on twitch but and they don't watch us live on youtube but sometimes they go and they watch our streams on youtube that's 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 fun that's uh so it's just like we you, we are still testing. But in, you uh, know what? They can also watch on Twitch because we have watched, but people are so habitual to go to the nah. YouTube that they the, there's not YouTube a good VOD system. Uh, Twitch is, th- doesn't have a good VOD system. Mm. You know, it's not it's not you kn- also your mindset whenever you open Twitch is not to watch VODs. Yeah. You want to watch a live stream. Yeah. You want to watch a live experience. Mm. Whenever you go on on YouTube, you have completed the reverse, right? People go there to watch VODs. Yeah. So I feel like even if you stream there, yeah. A lot of people then they go later on whenever they have time they can go and they enjoy to watch live streams they just don't have the time and they watch your live stream later. Mm. So I feel like that's kind of it's kind of cool. Uh, so I was saying I have never discovered anyone new on YouTube. To be honest, yeah. their interface sucks. I agree, Twitch sucks. sucks. Uh, every, yeah, it is one hundred percent. I just feel like it's the mentality of the platforms. Mm. Hopefully, this will change. We're still running these tests so far. It's being positive. No, better than zero. Yeah, there was nothing negative. Yeah, nothing yet. negative so far. That we see. For streamers on Twitch. <clears throat> YouTube is better for lurkers, worse for people who chat, and worse for people who stream. 
and kick it's kick now this has changed a little bit this is what the past three years have have uh have done because three years ago i i talked about how you have to stream for the video when you go live you're basically trying to farm a youtube video from it it's changed now most live streams are for the clip we've yeah. condensed it a bit oh, yeah. if you live stream four five six hours by the software really care about getting in that time <laughs> is a good clip one great fucking moment is all that matters because if you think about it most of the people in the world who know you will know you from your clip not your streams even people on this list all right kai speed queso jinxie pirate software you guys might have seen these streamers before you've yeah. probably seen them from a clip it might have been speed getting sucked off in minecraft Right? It might have been Kai breaking the record for the most subs ever of all time. It might have been Pirate Software talking about the YouTube algorithm. It could have been Jinxie hitting his desk with his feet and then falling backwards in his chair because he saw someone in Fortnite with a fat ass. Could have been Queso <laughs> being called fat again. But you've probably seen the clip. Yeah. The clip is king. So all you need is one great fucking moment. And then if you throw that moment on YouTube Shorts or TikTok and it blows up, it's a self-feeding system. More people will go to your stream. They want to see the funny moment. The funny moment happens. You get a new funny moment. And yeah. every new big streamer that's exploded from the past couple of years has exploded from clips. That's right? so All true. All these people I just listened to. 100%. All so been true. exploding because of the clips. Sometimes they're not even posting the clips themselves. It's just other people cl posting clips on their behalf. Yeah. But it's all about the fucking clip. And you can be contrived about this. You can be natural about this. You can be an over-the-top person to get a clip. You can just be even that like, the that girl like we Lydia? saw Lydia. Yeah, you know, it's all about the shorts. Yeah, and probably she, they're even fake. No, and sometimes <laughs> she doesn't even uh, she doesn't take it on uh, from a stream. Yeah, you know. You sometimes she does. Sometimes I think she does yeah, offline. Yeah, but she creates a lot of this, uh, these things yeah. offline. And I, in stuff. the beginning, because I think I saw her like two years ago or one year and something ago, was everything was fake. Now, I feel like she already has an audience. I'll tell you also something that's fucking smart about it. Mm. Because of her format is receiving, like she's receiving a donation mm. with, a, with, a, with a message and she's reacting to it. What it creates is like this self-feeding system that a viewer will also want to go there and donate something with a text-to-speech. Yeah. So then they also get the clip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is very it is smart. And, uh, and also there was this guy mm -hmm. uh, who also go, kind of blew up. Pirate software? Torn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. Same system. Yeah. We just have to create a system here so maybe people will start asking us questions. <laughs> like this? Hey, what a moment! <laughs> we just got a freaking sub! Thank you, thank you, thank you, Nella Zinga. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I, it was unexpected. Like, yeah. as we are speaking, chat, we just got this blasting, chat. Wait, wait, wait. This blasting. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Okay, I have to put it. <clears throat> I, I have to fix these alerts. <laughs> this was blasting, chat. It's too long. Yeah, it's too long. It's so we are, I, 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 I wanted to have time to fix the, the subs. I'm so sure Chad probably is blasted. Uh, but uh, yeah. Oh. Thank you, thank you, thank yeah, you once again. Thank you. What okay. a time. What a moment. To get a good clip, but I promise you, if you live stream wait, 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 wait. We, we reduce the chat. Do the sound here. Let's go here. Long enough, shit happens. I mean, that's the fucking beauty of live. Shit happens. Sometimes because you... Look at what he said. This is this. You can be an over-the-top person to get a clip. You can just be a godlike gamer and happen to get a good clip. But I promise you, if you live stream long enough, shit happens. I mean, that's the fucking beauty of live. Shit happens. Sometimes because you planned it, sometimes because you didn't plan it, and that's just and that's just what life is. But you will get a funny ass clip, and when you do, you just got to keep rolling with it. One hundred percent. Trying to recreate that magic. Asking the thirty oh. biggest. If you have a clip that goes viral. Try to recreate something similar to it. Mm. So you recreate that magic, that magical yeah. moment. Doesn't mean that doesn't need to be like the same. Yeah, but similar. Or more similar format or something. Mm -hmm. Streamers, I said, do you think YouTube Shorts, TikTok are important for your growth? Because I wanted to know from their perspective. All right, some of these people are established creators. Sixty-six point seven still said yes. And, and bear in mind, almost everybody I asked has been a successful creator since before YouTube Shorts were really a thing. And they still believe, two-thirds of which, 
that YouTube Shorts and TikTok are important for their growth. So if they believe it en masse, huge majority, then you should also probably believe this. Yeah. Now, there's an issue with clips. They don't make any fucking money. So it's still <laughs> important to stream to make a YouTube video. And I've repeated this for my last session, but I think it's still valuable information. When you do a live stream, it is still valuable to have a, a, a goal going into the stream of getting a YouTube video out of it. You go live with a premise, you know, maybe you are going to give your chat your credit card. The bones of the uh, of the stream is is you buying things uh, with uh, your credit card that chat has picked out. And the conclusion is the final list of how much money you've spent and everything you've bought. Your premise, your bones, your conclusion. It doesn't have to be every stream, mind you. But if you are going live without really thinking about it, just playing a video game and then going offline a couple hours later, I don't think you're really giving it your all. You should be putting damn near an equal amount of time thinking about what you're going to do as you are doing what you uh, are, are supposed to do. If the entire fucking time you spend working- This is something that uh, we were struggling a lot in the beginning. Yeah, we are slowly fixing it. But we are slowly fixing it because yeah. we were having this issue that not only we were not doing, but also whenever we were trying to think, we were getting overwhelmed and anxiety. Yeah. But so I took the advice of Pedigree and she's- Drop me the Nike one. Just do it. So we went live. We went live and we just did the stream. And yeah. we've been doing the stream. And even if we could improve some things and find try to find more time off streams to do other mm -hmm. things, we always think let's go live first. Yeah. Right. So that's always the priority. And because once you start going, you start figuring it out. You know. Yeah. It's like the backbone of everything, right? Yeah. Like the going live. So for example, why I say let's go live today because I don't want to spend one more day. You know, I'm going to still be sad because of my grandma, yeah. but I don't want to go let this situation lead us to that place that we were a few months back Before, yeah. that we took like two or three days. And, and then all of a sudden we didn't stream for, the, or the, you know. And then it becomes one month and it becomes three months and you don't even realize. You exactly. Know? exactly. It's just a matter of pushing for a few seconds and it's just go live. So, you know what was my realization? It was like when I asked, do you want to go live or do you want to rest? And they said, we want to rest. But, and you were like, but then I was thinking, okay, what are we going to do? Do you yeah. want to <laughs> really want to go and watch True Detective right now at 4 p.m.? <laughs> yeah. You know? And uh, that didn't also made sense. Yeah, I know. So I because was like... We, we were also not feeling like to watch anything. Yeah, exactly. Like, badly, exactly. you know? So I was like, okay, let's just drop yeah. it. It's been three days since we went live. Let's go live. Because this is the backbone. I love to speak with you guys. You guys are fucking great. You guys are here. Uh, but we are also starting, you know, we always bring at least one react to the stream. Yeah. Which we're also creating one YouTube channel yeah. from uh we YouTube do. video from these. Uh but we have way more ideas. Uh even today I, I had like three more ideas when I while I was running. I added to the stream ideas. Uh so you guys can uh, expect us for the in the next weeks, especially now we wanna have slightly more time to most likely come up with the different streams, you know. Uh, but it, it, it's a huge difference like I was thinking uh, we were not planning to stream mm -hmm. and we just pushed our, uh, uh, pushed ourselves and then we started streaming and now like we are watching this video which mm -hmm. is kind of pushing and pumping us to create better content yeah exactly you know? and that's and just how it is maybe we're gonna do and start working and all that stuff and mm -hmm. just it was just this few seconds of decision to Come and show up. Yeah. And to not do anything. You know, yeah. it's a huge, it makes it a lot of fun. 100%. Working on live streaming, you are live and you are not growing at all. You're making a mistake. Let's use our time more valuably and let's think about what we're going to do so it is more successful long term. Here's an example. Which YouTube video do you think will be better from these two live streams? Do you think it is Jinxy versus 20 girls? Or do you think it is the live stream called Wednesday? <laughs> just, <laughs> let's just take a stab in the dark here. Most people would argue. It's the first option, and they would be right. 20 Women vs. Jinxie ended up being Jinxie's most viewed video within a week. And I don't Ooh. think the Wednesday video that came from it did very well. Now, Wednesday streams are still important. You will occasionally... So, 
I watched Jinxie whenever he was playing randomly with some random girls and he was e dating. And it was fun. It was just like, uh, and then he makes a lot of faces and I was watching because of that. Yeah. You know, I was enjoying that content, you know. Occasionally have to go live with nothing to do, but putting Wednesday in your title and playing the game that people like when you play or talking about the thing people like that you talk about because consistency is key. But if you are not interspersing well thought out premises with good bones and con con good conclusion, I don't think you're doing a good enough job at streaming. How do you 100%. find ideas? How do you know what to stream, man? That's the hardest question. What the fuck do you do when you go live? The answer, you got to watch a lot of live streams to know what's a live stream. I'll tell you a story. I wanted to be a talk show host when I was in high school. Jay Leno even spoke at my sister's graduation from Ooh. Emerson. And I saw him as he walked out and I said, Jay, I want to be a talk show host when I grow up. And he said, hey, kid, what's your name? And I said, it's Ludwig. And he said, I'll see you there. I filmed all of this. This really happened. I'm not a talk show host today. I thought talk shows were dumb as shit and boring as hell. I never watched them. <laughs> I didn't watch them. I thought they were lame. I thought they were lame as shit. But streaming the, the is another way. Is that I actually yeah. didn't want to be a talk show host. I think I just wanted to be a rich, famous person who was on TV who got to interview celebrities. Are you guys watching a shit ton of live streams? Because these 30 big fucking streamers who are very busy, some of which are streaming 80 plus hours a week, are watching streams daily. The majority of them are watching streams daily. Over yeah. 80% are watching streams a few times a week. I Okay. I'm not a big streamer, but I always watch streamers almost daily. Wait, I usually go, except in this last past year, that yeah. because I was not streaming, I was feeling so bad and I felt like I don't want to watch streaming because watching streams was making me feel bad about myself. Yeah. But besides that... I enjoy to watch streams. I think it's fucking awesome. And it, I take a lot of ideas and I just enjoy it. Yeah. I do enjoy it more and more now that you stream streams. Watching your streams? Yeah. Now that you stream, do you enjoy more streams? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Why, why is that? Because like you have the, you know, the other side now? No, I want to know the culture because it's very new for me. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also want to see what other people are doing. Mm hmm you know, yeah. but I don't watch gaming streams because yeah. that's not my. You watch normie content. Normie content. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watch streams every single day. I'm not even shitting you. My Twitch wrapped. I watched Twitch 365 out of 365 days last year. How do I know about people like Jinxie, even though I'm 28 fucking years old? Because I watch people like Jinxie. Because I need to know what's going on. Because. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I also watch Jinxie sometimes, and I'm. 30 voice so yeah. it, it, it's all about just if you enjoy the culture if you enjoy the platform and also if you don't want to get out of the loop you gotta just explore slightly the yeah. platform you know and also especially if you're with streaming you there is a different culture itself yeah you know it's not like creating youtube content mm -hmm. and other stuff and coming up with that these ideas are completely different and very experimental. For me, I go into extremes. Yeah. Or I watch big streamers, or I watch... Really small streamers. Really? No, uh, not, no. Not, not like one, two. I go for like 24. Okay, for me, it's not about the number. For me, it's like, or I watch big streamers that I've been following for many years, or I watch uh, sometimes, or, you know, a streamer that I built a relationship with. Oh. You know, or I collab, or, uh, you know, we go to each other's chat, or we are on Discord, or uh, whatever it is. I go there because I want to support. Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's not my friend, 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 but it's like, it is my streaming friend. I consider mm. them as my streaming friend. So I like to go to their stream and say, hi, yo, uh, what's up? What are you doing? And blah, 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 blah. You know, spend some time there and then, you know, just keep the tab open to give that plus one because yeah. I know how fucking important it is. But I also want to be there to make his content better. So yeah. if I see that the chat is not, you know, uh, being too fast or something, no, or is, I see that the streamer is struggling... I just say something funny or I say, yeah, I ask a question because questions are so good because when you ask an open question yeah. that creates discussion, it can give like 20 minutes of content, mm. you know? I like watching small streamers. Yeah. You're yeah. a small streamer enjoyer. Yeah. That's good. That's good.
how else? And that's why you you uh, you managed to find yeah. Saifu. Yeah. 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 That's good. How am I supposed to keep up, adapt, and come up with ideas? It can't all come from thin air. It can't all come from past experience. I've made 2,000 goddamn videos. I gotta be watching shit. I gotta get inspired. If you're not watching Twitch, you can't become a Twitch streamer. It's also important, though, True. to think of ideas that work for you. Because, yeah, you can't watch... Listen, guys. If you're not watching Twitch, you cannot become a Twitch streamer. The same if you're not watching YouTube, you're probably not gonna become a YouTuber. That's just how no, it is. No, but I am, like, slightly confused. Like, sometimes you start watching too much, then you end up getting exhausted. No, but that... Okay. Like, One thing is, is like, you're watching, watching daily. These people stream eight to nine hours. Mm -hmm. But then when they're chilling, they're you know, watching. they go and they are searching. They are researching. Mm -hmm. They are watching a few streams, you know, like they are getting inspired. They are learning things. They are going to other platforms. So you don't have a lot of time. You know, when you get sad, depressed and, and, and inspired, <laughs> you're just watching. when we're just fucking <laughs> watching the whole day, you're watching for eight to 12 hours. Yeah, you're not, not creating, anything. you're not streaming, you're not posting. You're just researching of course you're gonna get depressed but if you only watch it for like uh, you know one or two hours a, a day you know just yeah. that's just how it is uh getting inspired and knowing what's in it, yeah it is super important you just like don't drag it a lot because if you're watching too much uh it's you get i feel like nowadays you know what you don't get sad really because you're watching other people doing it's just the main thing is like you're not doing yeah. that's why you're getting sad that's why we got yeah, sad. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. It's not about exactly that. It's about said before. Uh, yeah, it's about us, right? Yeah. We it's are not about. doing, so we get, we get sad. Yeah, when you are doing, you get inspired. Yeah, one hundred percent. That's the difference. Watch somebody, but you can't necessarily do what they do. For example, if you watch me, you can't do. I let my chat spend ten thousand dollars. The results are cursed live stream because yeah. you can't spend ten thousand fucking dollars on a live stream. That would be insane. It'd be absurd of you to do. It'd be crazy. You shouldn't do that. You also probably can't fly to Japan and drift the J slide because you probably don't know J slide like that. So if you can't do those things, do not think of ideas that include those things. Yeah. I think this is a mistake I see all the time. People thinking of ideas that don't actually work for them. Oh man, if only I had 10K, I could do this. Oh man, <laughs> if only I was a uh, uh, friends with Jay Shalad, I could collab with him. I would get big quick. What do you actually have around you? You got a funny fucking friend? Do you have a, a love and... You got an Indian wife? <laughs> <laughs> you can do, you know? like. Yeah. But that, that's... This is such a big point. I, I say this as a joke, but it was a breakthrough for us and, and for me that... Me and Pritikri were always like, man, we don't have a camera. Like, we're always, like, in this complaining mood uh, about, like, what we don't have that others have. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I was thinking, okay, what do we actually fucking have? We have each other. W okay, we have each other. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Fuck, I'm so cringe. No, you are. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's like, yeah. wh what is, like, our unfair advantage? What can we use? Like... You're Indian, I'm Portuguese. Can we use that in our advantage? Can we create some original content yeah. that, uh, you know, probably... Um, let's be on the chat. How many freaking 30-year-old white men, Indian girl couples are on Twitch? You know, like, mm. we can definitely do something that other people can't do because of that factor, you know? Yeah. And other things. We are both designers. We are... Uh, you know, we should have the best emotes on the pocket, fucking platform, but we don't because we're extremely lazy nowadays. <laughs> yeah, we don't <laughs> and use busy. our design skills. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why, but yeah. But uh, no, it's not about laziness nowadays. It, it was mainly about time. Time, yeah. Uh, I think we're gonna get four more months time, ago. One hundred percent, it was laziness. I don't think <laughs> nowadays it is laziness. Yeah, I agree. Um. Uh, the rest, they, they are... Uh, oh, let me see something. Uh, oh, for okay. YouTube channels, Red and Link uh, of Good Mythical Morning have matured the most since they started the, uh, the YouTube, but they are a uh, full, full production open. studio now. Oh, they have like oh. a show. It's, a, it's like a, some kind of a show. It's kind of cool. Okay. Them. They are in their 30s. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the guys that I told you that they created 40s. the format. What up? What, what up? up? What up? Yo, Saifu, thank you so much with a freaking sub. Holy fucking shit, boy. Thank you, thank you so much, buddy. You know what? I have I have to adjust these fucking these fucking alerts. They are blasting, Chad. 
You wanna do it? You wanna do it? Sh you do. You do it? No, no, you do it, baby. You do, you do. Yeah. There's not enough space. Let's go, let's go. This is the difference of our energies. That's him, that's me. Half sleepy. <laughs> let's freaking go, chef! <laughs> let's freaking go! <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much, Saifu, for the sub, man. Really, really appreciate it, buddy. Yeah. Uh, fucking catch him, boys. Uh, like, Saifu, if you knew my stream back then, it used to be, like, super hyped. Full of energies, yeah. Full of energy, super hyped all the time. Uh, but it, it was not <laughs> sustainable. In the long term, I was always fucking exhausted after the streams, you know? Do I make you, like, slow like me? No. I think I'm the <clears throat> snail of the stream. <laughs> You're the snail, I'm the snail. rabbit? Yeah, I'm, like, a very slow snail. You're, like, a rabbit. No, I feel like you no, always... I'm a turtle, and he's a rabbit. And you know who wins the game? You, the turtle. The rabbit. The turtle, yeah. The turtle wins. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I, I feel like for I you, you, you will have... You know, you're very new at this. Yeah. If he leaves me for 30 seconds, <laughs> I go like completely blank. Yeah. That's you gotta you gotta improve on that. You know what? I think I should start streaming on my channel just to practice. You can go live on on Instagram. On, on my for example. Pedigree. Go live on Instagram. I don't wanna you, go. You don't, on, you don't need to go. Is bad. No, no. It's not for that. It's for practice. For practice? Yeah, just go live on the because if, to practice you need people. If you go live on Twitch, you have no people. How are you gonna practice? That's true. You know, so yeah. you just go live on 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 Instagram. You're gonna have like at least three, four people there. You know what? I think I'm perfect for this uh, 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 Virginia thing. Super chill, very yeah. great stream. Yeah. Just give me a bunch of chips, and I will do this ASMR. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR, <laughs> crunch, crunch, crunch. <laughs> ASMR though, with the chips. Yeah. Oh my god. No, no. I Ooh. I feel like. Uh, you with time you will find your own pace and spot and this is only up to you and also you can build uh, a character you know yeah. uh you know like the index character that i built is just like a more i will do whatever the fuck i want version of me you know yeah. i i don't really care and it is still some slight version of me yeah n uh, of that version of index here it's just like more in the reality of what I always wanted to do, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but maybe sometimes like we can tune it up. So it's just like will come with time, yeah. you know. Yeah. But for you, I feel like you have this thing which is not healthy because you always seeing yourself as uh, like saying, "Oh, I'm the bad one," or "I'm these," or "I'm the slow one." No, no, no. Listen. It's completely fine because it adds here. It's like a yin yang kind of thing, you know? Like, if we're both like two super... Yeah, you know, we're going to clash. You know, we're going to clash. So you have to know, okay, what can I bring to the table that is completely truthful to my version and to whatever I want to do? And uh, what can be more entertaining to the chat? You know? Yeah. And that's all. Mm -hmm. If you're crying about it all the time, like I'm nobody. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. you're crying all the time. <laughs> Come on, man. Like, see, now you're crying. <laughs> but uh, you know, like, just think on the other side. Yeah, yeah. You know, think that what is because, like, even like the 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 morning, like the written link, right? These guys have like different uh, also personalities, you know, but they mm -hmm. complement each other, and it's all about that. How can you complement me, and I can complement you? You know. See, you, I say things and you say, yeah, see, you compliment me. <laughs> uh, I just wrote a follow on Piriki. I do love Piriki oh, on Instagram. You. Looking forward to that. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, it's you. Like, also, do you remember me in the beginning of my first month streaming? Like, Chad, you literally can go on my YouTube channel and see how bad it was, the quality of it. And it's just like, what do you want? You know, yeah. like you have only a few hours of these. You mm -hmm. were you were not used to to speak a lot, also. So just yeah, I don't speak a lot. In just give general. yourself a you know a break, and uh, you're doing. Also, big tip for you: go watch your first stream. Here. Yeah, your father was saying <clears> that uh, on first stream you were like scared, and now you're getting better. Yeah. So, so that, that's how you, that's how you can see. It's the same way, you know, when you go to the gym, chat, 
<clears throat> if you're watching every day and you're taking a selfie, you say, oh, man, I'm not changing. Yeah. But then it, it, you look back to like one or two months ago and say, yeah, I, I'm starting seeing some, some changes here. <laughs> so go do that. Mm -hmm. Go watch our first streams and, uh, and see. You know the, how how you involved. I think that's a that's a good good piece of advice. Passion for for uh, mobile gaming with the tools you have. What would you make? And you can still find inspiration. For example, last week I ranked every single Flash game. Anybody who's watching this could do that. It was fucking zero dollars. I just I literally looked up Flash games and then played the Flash games. Ooh. It was like twelve of them. It wasn't even every Flash. Uh, we've been streaming for uh, together for uh, one month now. Yeah, and we started been... on twenty one September, mm. de December, December. But in the beginning, we were not live streaming; we were uh, just streaming a, a few days, and then we start keeping up the pace. And now we just say, "Okay, let's start uh, everyday streaming." Yeah. Uh, how about alone? Uh, her, she, she never streamed alone, uh, except when I go to the bathroom to pee. Okay, should I go to the bathroom right now? So oh. <laughs> uh, she gets no. scared. But no, no, what about you? Just uh, me, I streamed for one year and a half. It took me like one year to get like to full time, full time streaming. Like I was doing pretty well. I I reached to Twitch partner. I I didn't get Twitch partner, but I got the Twitch partner requirements to ask, and uh, I asked to become a Twitch partner. But then the international borders open, and uh, I went to India, yeah, and only and like stopped streaming. only I stopped streaming. So only after four months, I was in India. I received that I got declined. Of course, it got because declined. It stopped. <laughs> I I stopped streaming, right? But um, yeah, I got to the the Twitch partner. Uh, even now, I, I can I can apply if I want. You sacrificed uh, your passion for love. Of course, I do. I I'll I'll do so it much. again. I'll do it again. And now I'm going to do my passion with my love. See? <laughs> Anyone could do that. So make sure the ideas you are thinking of work for you. Now I asked these 30 streamers, how much planning actually goes into your stream? Because it's an inter interesting question, you know? Like how, mu how much do they actually plan it out? And for the most part, people are kind of making it up the day of. 43% <laughs> of people, the plurality of people. Okay. People are making it up on the day, on the spot. But I will also say something. As you go, as you do more, mm -hmm. and if you daily get inspired, it's going to become like a every day you can get better at coming up with cool shit on the spot. Yeah. But when you're starting out, I highly advise you to not do that. Mm. Because most of the times you're just going to go live and it's going to be boring as fuck. You know, I also am speaking against us. You know, like now it's getting slightly better, but most of the times, like we were just going live. Like, I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna talk about. Yeah. You know, um, so in the beginning, planning the streams or do like a slight mix, mm -hmm. I think is, is is fine. Uh, also, don't go like super nerd that you have to have everything planned out. But also, don't make everything on, on the spot. Because we are not like these are big streamers. They've been doing this for years. They they have like the you know the the they, they got yeah. they got it. You know they know what is going to work, what is a good idea, what is not, and they can come up with things on the spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, I will advise highly advise if you're starting out, plan your shit. That, that's the best I can do. Kind of just make up what they do the same exact day. And I'm not e excluded from that camp, by the way. Most of the time, I kind of make up what I do that same day, maybe the day before. Yeah. Only 26% of people plan their streams ahead of time. 73% are, are making up day of or, or sometimes making it up day of. So don't stress out, man. That's the key. Don't yeah. freak out about what you got to do. Also, I feel like there's two groups of people that mm -hmm. plan out streams. Or do you stream only a few days a week and you have time to plan out? Mm -hmm. Or do you have someone that plans out for you? Mm. If you stream every day, there is very short amount of time to keep thinking uh, about like the next one. Especially yeah. uh, that happens for us in Pedigree that we have a lot of shit to do, not only in our personal lives, but also with editing and all these yeah. things. So it, uh, it, it takes like a very... We are two, which is great. I used to be one, mm. you know, but I also tell her to, I, I tell to predict that sometimes 
I still think that we can do so much better than we're doing right now yeah. because I used to be one and I used to do more, more than, than what two. we than two. Yeah. You know? Uh than what we do right now currently. Mm -hmm. So we definitely are the speeding up the pace. We are getting better. Also, you are new at this, you yeah. know? So you're gonna be better and better and better. In the, and always think like, man, I'm doing this right now. How will I be in one year? And hopefully you're gonna be so much better at doing the stream, gonna be much better at doing the edit, coming up things on the spot, figure out the things for yourself, and uh, all these things, you know. So it's gonna be great. Uh yo, Mango. Uh hello, how are you doing? Long time to see. No long time to see, man. I I'm doing great, man. Uh this is pretty she's my she's my wife. We're reacting to here to a to a video of Ludwig asked one of the streamers how to become successful. We're just discussing some uh live streaming things. Uh if you enjoy the, the kind of topic. We are now doing some kind of like live podcast every day, especially like one uh, one an hour and a half in the beginning, just chatting, having some fun, and then we just go to a video and do an activity. It's been pretty fun. I hope you're doing well, buddy. But spend like, you know, 30 minutes every morning thinking of a couple ideas, writing them down. Maybe pitching it to a friend who's also trying to become a live streamer. Throw your ideas back and forth. This idea yeah. sucks. This idea rocks. And just fucking run with it. I, I feel like it will be important for us. And uh, Saifu, if you want, uh, I would like to go back. One thing was great was whenever I, I had like this small community of streamers. Which is sad that most streamers, they stopped streaming. Yeah, uh, then most of them. Most of them. There's like, I think like one or two that still stream. I mean, like one that... I think uh, like none of them stream like consistently. Yeah. N and uh, a few got there, you know, like for example, Kiwi. He, yeah, he got he... to become a Twitch partner. Yeah. But then he just lost the... It, it, because it's, it's tough, man. It's tough. So if you do it with people, it becomes way easier. Yeah. Way easier to get to the top and way easier to once you reach the top to, to stay there. The more shit you throw at the wall, the higher chance you have of something sticking. So better to think of an idea... Grip it, rip it, hey, Kami. Up, it not work. Try something new the next day. And spend all this time crafting this amazing idea you've thought of only to have it not work. And now we get to my favorite part, the yoink and twists. Now I've talked about this ad nauseum, so I'll be brief, but this is still the number one best strategy on how to come up with a great video idea that is still exclusive to you and your personality mm -hmm. and has a high chance of being successful. Yeah. And it starts with finding an idea that has worked. For example, Michael Reeves made a video a few years ago called Your Robot Ideas Are Stupid. Many people have followed his formula. Michael Reeves is a fucking phenomenal YouTuber. 100%. In fact, one of them was Fundy, who made a video three years ago based off it called I Made Your Dumb Ideas in Minecraft. It became his most viewed video. 20 ever. million views. That's kind of freaking that insane, so I was like, hey, there's a bunch of dumbass ways to play chess. What if I just tried doing all of those ideas that chat gives me? And you can tell I was inspired by Fundy for the thumbnail and Michael Reeves for the initial idea. And the video did great for me. Yoink and twist. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you always pick up... It's like sometimes when you get inspired, a few ideas you can really replicate because it really matches with you and your community. Mm -hmm. But other things you got to put your spin, right? Yeah. You, 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 you and, uh, but for that, you need to go and search what did actually work, mm. you know? Because if you didn't work that stream, and the numbers don't lie, the number of you don't lie, the average views don't lie, whatever it is, like you always have to go and chase like these numbers mm -hmm. to see if it's it's worth doing. And then you give it your own spin and look at that 1.3 million. Uh, I tried your dumb chess idea. That's kind of great. Yeah. Uh, Mango. Uh, so I was saying, uh, what did you do with with people uh, like a team? Uh, it was pretty much like a small community, a small group on Discord, yeah. and we we used to bounce each other's idea, or sometimes we used to get like on a call and chit chat or something. It was sometimes, just like sometimes you guys used to do these collab streams. Yeah, some you know, collab streams like also. Three four people collabing each other and doing some just chatting. Yeah. Yeah. It was fun. It was fun. It was definitely fun. Uh, Mango is saying uh, on Twitch, uh, "Got to hear you're good." Uh, I am doing a uh, pretty okay. Got more into anime. Remember our discussion, and I must say that there are some good ones out there. I even today I watched solo leveling the the last episode and uh, the last episode of uh, One Piece. Yeah, uh, I found more hobbies and stuff to do. Uh, and my colonies of ants are still doing amazing. Oh, I remember him. Now. Yeah, you remember him. Yeah, the call the oh, the yeah. ants colony guy. That yeah, was yeah, yeah. 
So that was pretty fantastic, man. Pretty, pretty fantastic. I hope you're doing great. And you know, also your ants are growing, you know. Yeah. I, I, I kind of wish to see how it is. The, the maybe one day we're gonna be a, a, a see watch like a time lapse what yeah. it is like co uh, ant colony growing. Yeah, I kind of want to see the picture. Mango, yeah, if you if you, if you have a picture of your colony, can you can you put us on our Discord, man? Because Pirikri is dying to know and see, man. <laughs> I think he didn't he send. I don't. I, did did, I don't. I don't know. I think I don't know. I don't remember. I was pumped. 1.3 million views. It was me and Stans playing chess for four hours. Lock it in. The yoink and twist is a tried and true method. And don't feel bad about the yoink and twist because it's 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 how it fucking works. Don't take my word for it. Listen to H Bomber Guy. It's completely fine to be inspired by someone or build on ideas you got from somewhere else, mm -hmm. especially if you're open about it. Famous big boy YouTuber Ludwig has a thing he calls the yoink and twist, where he gets yoink ideas from and twist, existing videos boys. and openly broadcasts he's doing his own spin on it. In his video about that one guy copying the Capsule Hotel video, he happily says where he got the stuff he drew on for his own work. I do, I do. This is me trying silly chess ideas and, and look at all the tweets beside me with the, your ideas suck, genius, genius thumbnail. I got it from Fundy. I got it. I got it from Fundy. I made your dumb ideas in Minecraft, and then he has a bunch of tweets next to him. It's hard for anyone to feel ripped off when he's open about where he got the ideas. And if you don't, and it's okay to be open yeah. about your ideas because everyone fucking knows it. Yeah. Why you try to, to hide it? Yeah. To hide it, you know? Because Just, it's open. Yeah. <laughs> it's open. Everyone will know. You know. Take H Bomber guy's word for it, or my word for it. Twenty-nine of the thirty streamers that I surveyed said they take stream ideas 100 percent 29 out of 30. so if you haven't already started looking at other creators and trying to take some elements of it of course man to making it, uh, it your own then you're just simply not doing it right By of the way, course the only person the only person who said they don't take ideas from other creators Tarek. and that's fair he does just go live and play valorant every day. full luck plus small skill ideas. Tarek also gave a quote that I thought was poignant here. Because I asked everybody, I said, do you have a piece of advice for someone if they were to go live and stream? And he said, streaming, full luck, small skill. All right, that's what Tarek said. For some context, Tarek was the third biggest streamer in the world last Damn. year. He says it's full luck, little skill. What does that mean for you? How can you even fathom becoming a streamer if the third biggest in the world says it's full luck? You have to be delusional. And I mean this very genuinely. Because there 100 is someone agree with this. this, or maybe isn't watching this, or maybe uh, isn't okay, you'll have to explain who will be this. the biggest streamer in the fucking I will world. Explain. It will happen. It won't be the people who are currently at the top, still at the top in 10 years. It's going to be someone new. And that someone is going to be fucking delusional. They're going to be out of their mind because they're going to see that 7 plus million people go live. Yeah. And they're going to think, oh, I'm going to do it. And then they're going to become the biggest to ever do it. Do oh, wanna... it's like uh, manifesting in a way? No, it's like... L like you were saying, you saw the number that mm -hmm. that guy is one in 7.3 million streamers going live every day. Like right now, probably right now, yeah. there's like 4 million streams on. Mm -hmm. And Mango, uh, you know, K Kami, Saifu, uh, Nebraska, they are choosing and others, they are lurking on the stream. They are probably, no, they are choosing to be here, mm -hmm. you know? So what do you mean by delusional? Is just mm -hmm. like... If you don't go into a relationship, into a company, mm -hmm. into a, a creating your YouTube career, your Twitch career, whatever is your fucking career that you, the, all the fucking odds in the world are against you. Yeah. You have to be delusional that you're going to have to make it because yeah. otherwise, if you're like, man... All the all the odds are are against me. All the things, blah 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 blah. Like you want to be able, like I when I started the the like my company like many many years back, I was delusional that I want to make the the best fucking uh, agency in this city. Yeah. And for me, I did it. Mm. Maybe yeah, this is problems, but it, for people that worked there, I think it was fucking awesome. You know. Mm -hmm. I think it was culture like good. I think everyone had a good experience. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. That's my perspective. Yeah. You know? With streaming, same thing. So now when you come to stream, I feel like you what is your goal? And you you gotta have to have a delusional goal and still believe, believe that you it. can. Mm, got it. Yeah. What is your delusional goal? 
with this streaming i have very delusional goals <laughs> i want to become big <laughs> I want to create big community. <laughs> want to become What is it? What is the confidence? Like no, you think I you're going to become big like no, that's how I am. <laughs> I'm not like a super hype but I'm hyped inside. <laughs> you're hyped inside? Yeah. Deep down in your heart you're yeah, dying. Yeah, maybe it won't show like physically but it, uh-huh. it is. So like, how big you want to become? I want to have a nice bigger community. Put a number. So I can do I don't know. Just you say. Tell you tell me. No, I don't know. I don't know your dreams. Also, we don't have to be on the same like I want to do like extra Emily. Extra Oh, the way she is growing. Really? Yeah, that kind of. But not that kind of content uh-huh. because because it's different. Mhm. But yeah. So you More want to be like, like a 8,000, 10,000 viewer streamer. Yeah. Do you believe that that you can do that? Together, yeah. You believe that truly? Yeah. Or just saying it? No, I think we can do that. Okay. What about okay. you? I want to become the best fucking Portuguese streamer ever. That was always my goal. Yeah. I don't need to do Portuguese content. I just want to be the best. When you put the imagine this, you chat, you go to a list of streamers and you put like filtered by nationality and you select portuguese you know what i want to be the top number one there okay you'll become portuguese streamer like uh, in a few years if you keep uh, uh, keep uh, keep streaming mhm listen there are some big fucking portuguese streamers with thousands of viewers oh, i didn't know that <laughs> Oh, so you thought they say, "Oh yeah, maybe when you get 100 viewers, you'll be the top number one oh, streamer." I didn't know that. No, no, there are some some big heavy guns. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about you? You want to you want to become the best Indian streamer? There's not a lot of people from India on Twitch. Hey. That gives me chance to become a one. Hey. <laughs> you know what? I we also discussed about this in a uh, one of the fair adventures like you were Indian and there actually not a lot of Indian streamers, yeah, so a few yeah. maybe, you know, You can chase the path of it. Yeah. You know? uh, Mango is saying, by the way, why are you watching uh, YouTube uh, Logic? Because I'm kind of lost in the sauce. Uh, this video is about uh, how to become a big streamer, pretty yeah. much. So m- I want to become a big streamer. I also want to become a big streamer and that's why we are watching. Yeah, we're also, learning, taking notes and uh, yeah. chatting with the chat. They also, there were a few people on our chat. They also wanted to become a big streamer. Yeah. And they are streamers, so... Kind of it made watch. sense. We are interested on this and to be honest, Mango, all we speak and we do on this stream it will always be things that we interest on yeah. and uh, we want to do this and hopefully you guys will uh, enjoy. Wait, that's delusional. Bye. But you need to be delusional. Because if you're not delusional and if all you look at are the statistics and the numbers, you're not even going to be able to tr- to try. You're just going to get I always say like these pessimist friends they you know special not friends like people I knew mm-hmm. that sometimes say you know the odds of getting a company successful is one in uh, in yeah. whatever like yeah. one in nine companies fail mm. no one in no nine in ten companies fail so it's just one that gets successful and I was like okay bitch then I'm going to be that one <laughs> stuck in reality hell okay it's okay to dream big it's okay to be a bit delusional And it's okay to fucking go all in on a on a absolute hail mary dream. And the only way, the only way I promise you, you will ever be the biggest to ever do it is if you are delusional. If you have that brazen confidence to believe that you hit and go live and switching the relationship that currently exists where you are the viewer to now you are the streamer and people get to watch you now and they have to watch you now. And not only do they have to watch you, they're going to watch you over the existing people with all the resources and money and experience. They're going to watch you instead. Only someone that delusional will ever end up being a huge streamer. Now, it's not to say you fucking throw your life away, you quit your job tomorrow, you start streaming <laughs> full time until you're the biggest. Don't don't do that, right? Yeah. You can still be risk averse, you can still be smart, but be smart and be delusional. Now, I asked these 30 streamers <laughs> I think shit. I think I'm an intelligent guy, but when it comes to chasing my dreams, I don't think I'm smart. I, and I'm very delusional. 
Mm. I just fucking straight up, you know what? Let's fucking close the company <laughs> and start streaming. It was, okay, it was not exactly like this, but uh, yeah, I, I think I, I'm i just, that's how I always think. So I will not advise ever to, to do what I did, you know? Mm. And if I look back, I don't regret a fucking bit, but maybe I'll have done it in a smarter way, maybe, mm -hmm. you know? But I don't regret it. Fuck it. You know? It is what it is. Yeah. Uh, uh, Mango is saying uh, I'm kind of busy that's why I didn't log on Twitch in th since the last discussion I will do my best to be with you all on stream when I can yo Mango thank oh, you so much thank man. You. that's all we care that's all we care what is the whatever you can whatever statistic. we care what should you worry about if you're gonna go live what, what actually matters right and the answer is average view count average view Streamers count are obsessed this is why chat even if you guys don't watch the stream or you guys are busy or doing something just sup the best way to support a streamer it's above easy. everything is to be here or open the stream on a different tab or just keep it there on mute on the side whatever above your sub your twitch prime all these things this is what makes the stream grow. It's like that one plus number. Mm -hmm. And that is will and that is and will always be the best way to support the streamer. With average view count. They are obsessed with it. All right. And even the streamers who prioritize things like enjoyment or maybe some other statistics like girth, at one point. They cared massively, uh, massively about average view count. They obsessed over the number. All right. For many big streamers, it is their whole self worth. I know streamers who were at forty thousand viewers who go down to thirty thousand viewers. They're at fifteen thousand viewers. They go to ten thousand viewers. They're at eight thousand viewers. They go down to six thousand viewers, and they're sad about it because that's <laughs> how much value they put in to that average view count number. But if you're going to be one of the biggest streamers in the world. You do need to care about that number. There's yeah. a lot of things you can do to impact that number. There's a lot of things out of your it, It's the same as you, YouTube with the views. Yeah. You will ever fucking have with it. But it is also, at the end of the day, the most important statistic that determines whether or not you'll be the biggest ever do it. Yeah. Now, I thought this one was interesting. I asked them, do they look at their view count while streaming? I do. I've been hawkeying it this whole stream. It's been going up the whole time. That means I'm generally <laughs> doing a good job. Two thirds say yes. One third says no. And, and, and I think it's a preference thing, right? I wouldn't put yeah. too much stock into this. And probably the people who said yes to looking at the view count while streaming are the same people who said average view count is the most important metric. But I just want to put some gravity onto the average view count number. Don't become obsessed with it. Don't become psycho. You yeah. know, don't, don't let it ruin your life, I guess is what I should say. But be aware. You don't have to know it while you're live. You can look at it after. You can even look at it after a week or a month and look at the charts and see how it does for, for games. But know it. Know your stream. Know what people like. Know what people don't like. I talk about this a lot. Everyone falls off. Now, 100%. it's a little funny to talk about how everyone falls off in a video about how to be a streamer. You haven't even made it yet, and I'm talking about how you're about to fall off. <laughs> but it's true. And in these videos, I talk a lot about the how to make the sausage, the how to be a big streamer, the what happens if you do become a big streamer. But the reality is you're going to fall off. You're going to quit. Even if you fucking make it. Even if you watch this video and in five years you're like, let me watch your video. I'm the biggest streamer in the fucking world. In 10 years, 20 years, you're going to be like, I watched your video. I was the biggest streamer in the world and now I fell off. So while you're here, while you're making shit, you might as well make something you care about. And in true. the past, I haven't focused on this enough. But it is truly all that matters. It is literally all that matters is making something Chat, yeah. I fucking learned this the rough way, chat. Yeah. I focused too much on the average view count, and let me tell you, it felt good whenever we uh, hit, like, 150 viewers or whatever it was. Like, was, like, the highest ever. But at the same time, I was not, in I, I, I was not enjoying what I was doing. You know, I, I was not caring as much about what I was doing as I cared about what I'm doing now, mm. you know, and uh, I really and seriously hope that even if we're going to change a few things because we need to improve, I seriously hope that we don't lose the course 
over you know the journey that we have ahead and we always do something that we care about mm. you know we don't have to do the same thing the same formats whatever as long as we're doing something that we care about and it's something that i lost it in uh hopefully i learned early and i learned well and uh i don't at least that mistake i won't make it again yeah Th that's all i hope uh Mango is saying, to be honest, my childhood dream was to become a famous streamer, YouTuber. I have tons of ideas what I'm going to do. Uh, it's what's going to be about. So my parents were not supportive, but I always say you have to do uh, what you love. Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell you, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Anything that goes away from the traditional path, Norms. the traditional norm, you know, going to college, getting a job, you know, Getting a, a girl or a boy, or whatever. Getting married, you know, get some ch try children, whatever. What is the norm? If you ever take like a very risky path, you most likely your parents will uh, oppose. They will oppose. Yeah, because uh, so, uh, sometimes it's very tough for them to understand these things. You know. Yeah. Because it's not a norm. Yeah, it, and it's risky. Yeah, and they are risky. right. It is risky. Yeah. It is a very low chance. But you know what I did? I did what I wanted, you know? And uh, I, I wanted to start creating the company. company. I, cr I created the company. I went to work and I was still creating the company in the extra hours. So... I was doing what they wanted. I was also earning some money because I needed some money. So I had the independency to do what I wanted. So if you want to become a YouTuber or a Twitch streamer or whatever, there's only two ways to do it. Or do it while you're still living in your parents' house and you're still young and you grind the fuck out of it the best you can. And you're probably going to spend many years and you're going to throw away a few years of your life because you're trying to pursue this. Mm. Or you're going to grow up. You're going to go to college. You take your degree. You enjoy college. I will not stream in college, most likely. Mm. Uh, you get a job. And while you're getting the job, just keep grinding the stream at night. Yeah. Work during the day, stream at night. Yeah, there are a lot of people, they they do job and then they create content. Yeah. And once the content gets established, they leave the job. Yeah, once you they... start making really that's good very, very edit wise... and you start making money, then you can jump. That's a very wise choice. It keeps you on track, yeah. you know? Yeah. But, yeah. Are you fucking rich and you don't give a fuck and you just go yeah. live? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, there's, yeah. A, there's a, a few paths that you can take. A few more risky than others, but at the end of the day, is always a personal preference, and nobody can really tell you the right decision. Uh, you can only know yourself and what it will work. Be delusional, but don't be too delusional because also that's not good. Be it's like you can be delusional and be to smart. think and be smart. Like, am I good at streaming? Am I good at doing YouTube? I, like, do I have like certain skills? Because the idea is not enough, right? Like, do, am I good on camera? Can I speak? You know, like all these yeah. things. Like, do I have like a natural uh, thing for this? You know, because if you do, probably most likely you'll have, you know, more chances, higher chance. So it's just like, even if you're not good at these things, okay, I will study, I will learn, and then maybe in the future I'll try to do. You care about If you're making shit that is an antithesis to your being and what you like and what matters or what you think is cool, like, what's the fucking point in that, you know? Leave a mark. Be someone who makes shit they're proud of. I promise you. I promise you. I have seen the heights that some streamers have hit. And then they start to fall off a bit. And then they're fucking depressed. But you wouldn't yeah. be depressed if you were proud of what you made. If the True. only thing that matters is the success, then you will guaranteed be sad in the long term. If the 100%. only thing that matters is making something you care about, then truly... But on the flip side... Definitely, it sucks if you're falling off. The you get the the spike, and if you losing viewers, I mean, if you're losing viewers and you're still doing the same shit, 
Mm. Probably is because you stop innovating. Yeah. That's most likely. You know? Just, yeah. You stop doing cool shit and you're just doing the same and it just became boring because after a while, just get too repetitive, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But most likely, what happens is like, for example, what happened to me, you know, you, you were doing something, now you completely changed. Mm. Of course, you're going to fall off. Yeah. It is so different from one, one thing from the other, right? Like, so that's normal, yeah. you know? Yeah. The only way you fail is if you don't make something you care about. And so with that thought, I got some final steps. If you've already gone through the process, you've gone live at least once. You just tried it out. You wrote down your goals, your inspiration, all that. If you're at this point, congratulations. I got one more thing I need you to do. Go live. In the thought of making something you're proud of, if you really want to graduate and become a baby, uh, excuse me, if you really want to graduate and become a big streamer, I want you to show off your work. If you are not willing to show friends and family Ooh. the shit that you make, you are not serious about what you're making. And this is a very scary thing to do. This is this is a fucking terrifying thing to do. 100%. A lot of people try to keep their stream life separate from the regular life. So people at school don't know or their family doesn't know. But if you're not proud enough of the shit you're making that you won't sit on the couch and watch a video with your mom or sister, or brother, or whoever, or you won't discord message a friend that you've talked to for years who fucking loves you, the shit that you're making, it is disrespectful in my mind to post that publicly expecting other people to watch. If you expect mm. other people who don't give a shit about you to watch the thing that you won't even show the people who love you to watch, I find that disrespectful. And it's scary. But if you're willing to do that step and you take... So he's saying like it's disrespectful someone else's time. Yeah. You know? So for me, I felt like in the beginning, especially, it was so different that I feel like I kept things apart. Yeah, you did. I definitely keep things apart. And uh, I was slightly scared of like judgment from people that it was not like I was in this case it was not that I was not proud, but definitely it was like, okay, this guy went from having a company and now he's streaming ki games for kids. Yeah. And he's dressed as a clown and it was just like too much, you know? Even though I was... It was a big change. I was proud. I was still... F I had fear about the judgment that I was going to get. But whatever we're doing now, I'm not... Mm. I'm extremely proud of it. Um, and we're only going to get better. We're going to do some fun shit. We're probably going to do some fun events along the way. And maybe we'll bring back in this. But it's going to be like... You know, like it's just going to be a different yeah. thing. You know, and I'm happy for that. Mm -hmm. I'm happy that now I feel like we are building something that uh, I'm happy to share, not only with my family, but also I'm proud of. Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I'm really proud of. And um, and I hope you guys will be proud of us too in, mm -hmm. the, in the future. Take that leap. You'll be in such a better place. You'll be in such a better place. Yeah. Because you'll be at the point where you're already making stuff that you're proud of. Yeah. And if you're not, and they're like, hey, this fucking sucks, then you know. And you can get to that point quicker. That'd be amazing. How amazing would that be if someone who loves you could just tell you, like, hey, man, this thing actually isn't good. You know, you could work on it, change it, do it better. Yeah. That's great to know. It's going to shatter your fucking ego or it can lift you up. It's scary. Do it. Or are they going to lie and they say it's great, but it's not. Show yeah. off your work. I do this to this day. If I make a video that I think is really fucking cool, I send it to my family in France. They don't speak English. <laughs> but I think if it's really cool, it will cross the language barrier. So when I did my story time when I went to France, I sent it to him. But also when I made the video learning an opera in Italian, I sent it to him because I wanted to share it with them. I thought they'd fucking love it. And they did. It was cool. I'm proud of that video. And that, in conclusion, is my ultimate streaming guide 2.0. Thank you very much for watching. A couple things, I, uh, if, you're, if you're still here and you want to stick around, if you watch the video all the way through, hey, subscribe, follow my Instagram, become a member if you want. And also, make sure you're proud of it. That's at the end of the day, all that matters. It was okay, a great, man, insightful shit video. Yeah. Proud of. We got a short amount of time on this earth. Let's not waste it making shit we don't care about. Oh, <laughs> what a great way to finish the video. Yeah. What a great way to finish the video. Yeah.